In Orange County, two teens are accused of breaking into cars when they were shot. The man who pulled the trigger says he had no choice but to open fire. Let's get out to Fox 35's Valerie Boy. She is live for us in Pine Hills tonight. So, Valerie, you spoke to the man's mother who pulled the trigger. That's right, Luann. That mom says her 24 year old son had a gun pointed at him right in their own driveway, so he fired back, defending himself. They had a gun? Yes. He had the gun. Maria Vasquez says someone pointed a gun at her son in the driveway early this morning, so he fired in self defense. She says it started as the teens were trying to steal his car. They say, hey, what, what are you doing? What do you want in my car? According to deputies, a man told them he confronted two people who were burglarizing a car, and that's when they made a threatening move towards him, so he fired several shots. Was your son injured? No, he's good. And you were saying the police found the teenager's gun down the street? Yes. Maria says one of the teenage suspects broke into her car on April 8th. Deputies confirmed that break in. He go to my car, open, I take my credit card, my ID, and my ID for my employer, and the copy. She says they stole a copy of the key to her son's car and came back at around 2 o'clock this morning to steal the Camry. Maria tells us investigators discovered her son's car key in the suspect's pocket. Deputies confirmed one of the suspects in this burglary had evidence from the previous burglary. My son is a good person. He's worth a lot. According to deputies, the teens are ages 13 and 16. Investigators have to determine whether criminal charges are appropriate. He feared for his life. He was defending his place. Resident Judith Stokes says this neighborhood off Martinwood Drive is usually peaceful. To have something like this go on, you know, it's, it is startling. She believes the teens should have been home instead of out at 2 o'clock this morning. Maria hopes they have a quick recovery. Do you hope the teenagers will be okay? Yes, I pray. And deputies say the teen suffered non-life-threatening injuries. They also say the gun that one of the teens had was reported stolen. Live in Pine Hills, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.